Hello everyone. Hello. Emily and Darren. Uh, we have an update for you. It is the 16th of March 2020 and it is regarding the coronavirus. So um, starting on March 18th until April 5th, we're going to be moving all of our lessons onto Skype. So we're here to tell you exactly all the details about that. Um, we're going to be offering Skype lessons for the whole country except for Alberta, since Alberta still has the children in the schools. And there will be no in-person lessons, so if you have a booking on while it's living, it's going to be changed to Skype. So Darren will show you exactly what Skype is. Hello! Okay. <laughs> Alright, so to get um, to be able to use Skype, you'll need to have a login, um, and you'll need to actually have the application. You can do it on either phone or any desktop, most desktop. Um, you would simply go download Skype, that right here, download Skype in any web browser you like, and just go for the first um, link, and then go ahead and download for whatever whatever type of desktop you have, or if you have an Android, it will give you the proper option. And then you would create an account. It, Skype is owned by Microsoft, so if you already have some kind of Microsoft account with um, Hotmail or uh, or Outlook or, or Windows or whatever, um, you already have an account with Microsoft. <clears throat> okay, from there, you um, you will have the app on your device and you can go in the app. If I, if I might just interrupt, a oh. lot of computers come with this app already downloaded, so um, also just go ahead and check your computer beforehand to see if you have it downloaded. Yeah, good point. There's like on Android, there's a billion downloads and that's because every Android comes with it basically, so yep. Um, and then from, we're not going to do this. Okay, so from there, it's pretty easy. Once you're in the Skype app, you go for Meet Now. And then this is us. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Skype is pretty cool because it really zoomed in on the person. So that's why Emily's blurry. Let's try to get Emily in the picture. There we go. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, so yeah, awesome camera. I think it's fantastic. Um, so we click Meet Now, and then there's a link here. Share invite, copy link. Anyone with that link um, can book you. I mean, sorry, can just put the link in any URL, and then they can go ahead and and uh, have a meeting with you. Um, for them to find the link, uh, you would you are needing to share the link. Sorry, go back. I'm going a bit fast. Sorry, guys. So you click to meet now and share invite, copy link. Now this link is now. You have this link copied, and you want to put it on your profile so for so customers can see the link. Uh, do that. We'll go to switch to staff view. And then Emily, anything to add? Uh, we're doing okay. Yeah, we're doing good. Awesome. Okay. So and you go to profile. Sorry, I'll uh, I'll let it guide. Then you go to the switcheroo over here. You can always go in the setup if you want. And find yourself there. And then we go to general. So I already um, did a test there, but so you add the link to your uh, behind your first name. So see, there's this dash, or you put your you have your name, and it should only be your first name. Then boom, you put it there. And then this is templates. So we say lessons are with Skype only until April 5th. Make sure you put that there. What Here's we, a link. What we'll also put is lessons with Skype are only uh, between March 18th and April. There you go. And just go ahead and copy this template. So basically what we're going to have the students do is book you online as their usual way through wellness living. Um, they'll book you in their calendar and you'll see their booking just the same. The only difference is because you provided your Skype URL in your name, when they make the booking on Wellness Living, they'll also get your URL so they'll know exactly where to go for the booking. We're needing um, to go over just a couple of requirements for the standard of quality for Skype. Um, so please arrive on Skype at least five minutes early. I know sometimes it's hard to sign in even for myself, so be there five minutes before the lesson. and. Um, Please be in a quiet place. No coffee shops. This hasn't been a the most reliable. I'm sure they're pretty dead at this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure you're open, but not a lot of okay. reliable internet. Um, sometimes it's difficult to hear. 
Um, sometimes the headphones don't really work. So please be in a quiet place, um, somewhere private. It is still someone blessed them that they're paying good money for, so you want to give them that um, attention. Um, we'll be circulating online teaching tips for Skype through the teacher's chat. If you have anything you want to share, go right ahead. That's awesome. Um, regarding online teaching, maybe things that you can do, activities and such. And we'll be letting the students know very soon that the, uh, the changes will be happening. Um, yeah, and so if you have any questions, feel free to share it in Teacher Slack or comment on the video below. Teacher Slack? Teacher Slack. Oh, okay. Or the video uh, comment section below. Um, looking forward to this change and hoping that you guys will all be safe. Yes, please be safe. Um, and we'll keep updating as needed there, okay? Um, hopefully, you guys are going to do great with this change. Okay, yeah, yeah peace out. Okay, all right, bye. bye. Take care.